Are e-cigarettes really safer? Several cities across the country are considering a ban on the popular smoking alternative. So 7 Action News reporter Glenda Lewis gives us a good look at, what, at what's really in that smoke. Take a look. Travis Saul started using e-cigarettes or vaping a year ago. If you want to quit smoking, vaping will work. The father of two said he turned to e-cigarettes to quit traditional ones. I don't want them around it, you know, because the second hand's just as bad as the initial smoking. He's now the general manager of Vapure, a company that sells electronic cigarettes. There's less in our e-liquid than there is in the air you breathe every day. There are no long-term health studies on electronic cigarette vapor. It heats up a mixture of nicotine, propylene, glycol, and other chemicals, and that heated mixture becomes an aerosol, which is inhaled deeply into your lungs to deliver the addictive drug nicotine. Stanton Glantz is a professor of medicine at the University of California at San Francisco and one of the leading researchers on e-cigarettes. If you're around somebody using e-cigarettes, you're breathing in ultrafine particles, you're breathing in nicotine. I would say that e-cigarettes are the cigarette of the 21st century. Scientist Prue Talbot and her team at the University of California, Riverside, were among the first in the country to analyze e-cigarettes. There's quite a bit of tin. Most of, this, uh, most of this material is comprised of tin. The e-cigarette smoke everywhere platinum created this pellet. This means people who are using this product are potentially going to be inhaling the tin. Talbot said inhaling tin directly or secondhand can be dangerous. These particles are so very small that they actually get from your lungs straight into your bloodstream and then they appear in various organs. For example, tests show the Mystic e-cigarette doesn't have any tin in the vapor but did have concentrations of copper. Saul believes the e-cigarettes he uses are safe. I'll probably just vape forever, honestly. Supporters say e-cigarettes are only 10 to 20 percent as polluting as tobacco cigarettes. Glantz said that's still not good. On an absolute scale, it's still a bad thing. I'm Glenda Lewis, 7 Action News. Wow, there are no laws in Michigan banning the use of e-cigarettes. We spoke with the Michigan Department of Community Health. They tell us individual businesses can ban them, but they were not aware of any businesses that have gone vapor-free.